<coughs> Podcast Network Asia. Network Asia. Hey guys, welcome back to Small Talk, Small Conversations with Huge Impact. My name is Alec Cuenca and I'm your host. And before anything else, I would like to greet each and every one of you, everyone who is listening right now. Thank you so much. You know, I just want to say that I appreciate you every single time that you listen to the podcast. It helps the podcast a lot, especially the people who are sharing the podcast on their Instagram and tagging me at Small Talk Podcast. It means the world to me. So thank you. Thank you so much. So again, this is a Monday episode. That means we're going to share, I am going to share a few ideas that I've learned throughout the week, a few ideas that I've ha- I've had to ponder about, I've had to ponder. And um, um, in case you didn't know, my upload schedule is Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. On Mondays, I upload this one. On Wednesdays, I have a guest. And on Fridays, I upload an Ask Alex segment where I answer or read your story and answer your questions. So if you're going to be part of the show, then go ahead and send me your story and send me your questions on Instagram at Small Talk Podcast. So let's dive in for today's episode. Today's episode, we are going to talk about how to get more in life. I've watched a TED Talk and it was really mind-blowing. I suggest you, you know, um, go watch it as well. Just search for Adam Grant. And Adam Grant was basically saying that people fall into three different categories. The first one is the taker. The second one is the giver. And the third one is the matcher, okay? Essentially, the takers are people who, who which... Um, Essentially, the takers are the people who have a primary motivation of self-interest. You know, they want to take whatever they can take. They are focused on themselves. They put their own interests ahead of others' interests and needs. They are always looking to gain as much as possible from the interactions around them while contributing as little as they can in return. That's their mindset. They want to take, take, take. What can I get? What what can you do for me? What can I get from this um, interaction? They're selfish, right? And um, the second type of people, the second type of people, um, and then the second type is the matchers. Matchers typically give to others with the expectation of getting something back. They're focused on maintaining a balance between giving and taking. They have a mindset of what you do to me, I'll do to you. So if you're bad to me, then I'll be bad to you. If you become a good person to me, then I'll become a good person to you. They give as much as they receive. And they take as much as they are losing. Okay, They want to keep the balance na hindi sila matatalo, they're not going to lose, and they're not going to win, okay? So, the third type is the givers. The givers are the one who are motivated to help other people. They are focused on others. They tend to provide support with no strings attached. They are always looking to add value to the people around them. Their mindset is, how can I contribute? How can I provide value to the people around me? That's their mindset. So you are either one of these three, whether it's just your individual life or it's your business or you're working in the corporate world. This is essentially, you know, you, you fall into one of these categories. Well, if you think about it and the research, you know, Adam Grant did a research and the research showed that the worst people who, uh, the, the worst, um, the, the, the category where the most people you know, underperform in businesses, in corporate worlds, are actually the givers. Yeah, I know you didn't expect that one, but the givers, um, they tend to be the worst performers. And, um, well, that makes sense because they're putting other people's priorities above them, okay? But as the research evolved, it also showed that the top performers are actually the givers as well. So the takers and the matchers, they belong in the middle ground. They belong into that 
you know, th that sweet spot in, in the middle, just right there. But some of the worst performers are more on a, a giver. And some of the top performers and most of the top performers are givers as well. And you might be thinking, you know, well, I like being a matcher doesn't sound that bad. You know, I'm a And I'm not going to argue with that. But I've learned that matchers in business and in life are those who get stuck in the middle. They don't actually become the best in what they do because they're playing it safe. Okay? They make sure that they only get what they what uh, they they only give what they get para hindi sila matalo. They want to put them they they have the priority of, you know, keeping that balance. But they are the one who gets stuck in the middle. They don't allow themselves for, you know, the, the biggest growth or to live their um best life or to get more in life because they're just taking what they feel like they could give so they don't get more in life so if if you're okay with that you know then if you're okay with that then okay then stick being a matcher if you're okay with that then okay stick being a matcher but if you want to live your best life that leaves you with only two options be a taker or a giver and we both know that the takers are losers. They're selfish and nobody wants to spend time or even work with them. Okay? So you're not, you know, you, you'll be stuck in the middle and nobody wants to be friends with you if you are a taker. So don't be a taker. That's clear, okay? The secret to getting more in life is actually to be a giver. And I'm not saying this to just, you know, push you to... Just give, give, give. Na wala nang natitira sa'yo. Na there's no more left anything to give. There's actually two types of givers. The selfless givers and the otherish givers. The selfless givers are the ones who drop everything to help people all the time. You know, sometimes I'm, I'm gonna, I was like that. So before I was like that, you know. I don't care about myself. I'm just gonna help other people. I just give, give, give. But they usually, you know, and I also felt that, that I usually end up feeling like I'm at the bottom of the success ladder. I'm not happy. Though I am I am still particularly I'm still like relatively happier than the takers, <laughs> but I don't feel like I have I can be I I don't feel like I'm that happy as I can. I I give as much as selfless givers, but I've successfully learned to not necessarily balance. But I make sure that I give that without expectations. Okay? So that nobody can take advantage of me. And that's the thing. You got when you are going to be a giver, you, your intentions must be very clear. A lot of people are giving with the hope of expectations. And that's not the way to do it. You can only Feel the abundance that may come into your life if you give without expectations. Because if you are giving with expectations, then you're essentially um, asking for the universe to match the things that you give out to the world. And that makes you a matcher. Or at least you try to make the universe a matcher. Okay? So that's, that's not how it works. You need to be able to give with the proper intentions. Genuinely give from your heart and just give without expectations because imagine this when a matcher is partnered with the taker then the matcher becomes a taker right but if a matcher is um matched or partnered with a giver then the matcher becomes a giver okay so you're essentially converting two out of three people and that's a good number <laughs> okay you can't you know you can't ask for a perfect life or a perfect number or everyone's a giver, right? But essentially, you you, you need to know uh, how to navigate this world so that you, you don't get it taken advantage of and you preach and share and inspire other people to be givers, essentially the majors. And, and I want to share a Chinese quote that says, if you want happiness for an hour, take a nap. If you want happiness for a day, go fishing. If you want happiness for a year, inherit a fortune. If you want happiness for a lifetime, go help somebody. And the Chinese surely got this right. 
the main reason why we fall into the pit of trying to get more in life because we want is because we want to be happy. However, we have not been taught in order to do that, we we should give, give, and give. Okay? And I know a lot of you might be thinking, Alec, I'm always giving, but I'm not receiving anything. But of course, you will not receive anything because you are expecting something. And this means and this means that even though you are giving something, you still want the universe to match what you put, and that makes you a matcher, not a giver. If we learn to give without expectations, that's the moment that we that the abundance of life flows into us. Okay? So to understand this better, here's what Deepak Chopra wrote in his book, The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. The more you give, the more you will receive because you will keep the abundance of the universe circulating in your life. In fact, there anything that anything that is of value on in anything that is of value in life only multiplies when it is given. That which doesn't multiply through giving is neither worth giving nor worth receiving. If through the act of giving you feel like you have lost something, then the gift is not truly given and will not cause increase. If you give grudgingly, there is no energy behind that giving. Once we understand this, we can apply it in our daily lives. And it's actually pretty simple, you know, in layman's terms. In layman's terms. In in layman's terms, okay? If you want to be happy, then you gotta give happiness to others. If you want to love, if you if you want love, then you have to love others. If you want to be blessed, then you have to silently bless others. If you want to be appreciated, then you need to appreciate more what you have in life. If you want to get more of life, on what it can give to you, then you need to give more to life. And from my experience, the easiest way to get what I want is to help others get what they want. Okay, This works for individuals, corporations, societies, governments, and nations. This is universal. I can remember, you know, a lot of people, a lot of podcasters are actually asking me, how do you get to become the fastest growing self-improvement podcast or at least the podcast here in the Philippines. Well, I say, you know what? Because I was giving, giving, giving without actually looking what I'm going to receive. I just created content to help more and more and more people. And that's have, that has been my mantra ever since. When I started creating content, I want to give, give, give without actually you know, thinking about, could I even monetize this? Will I even get paid? Will I get famous for this? I didn't think of that stuff. I told to myself that I have a message and I should share it. I should give it to the world. I could give it back to the world. So I gave, 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 gave it now. And I was surprised, you know, it took a little longer than I, uh, it, 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 and I was surprised, you know, and I, and I, and I was just surprised when I saw myself in a position where the blessings just keep coming into my life. That I'm getting more out of life. The opportunities keep on coming. And I was thinking, well, how did I got here? Well, it's because, Alec, you ate shit for a lot of years. You just gave, you just gave, gave, gave everything that you could without actually expecting. And there's a magic in doing that. If you're just giving kindness, if you're just giving peace, love, and happiness to the people around you and to whatever medium you choose to, it will be multiplied. That's the balance of life that you need. That's the balance. That, um, the, the abundancy in life only flows when you allow it to flow into you. And you can only do that if you just empty your cup, you know, and uh, every time you get you get something, you give it back to somewhere else. To, to someone else, okay? And you don't need to be Mother Teresa to help. You don't need to be Bill Gates to help. You just need to look for small ways. You just need to look for small ways to add big values to the people around you and that will change everything. We just need to find a way that you could give right now in this moment 
you could give to whatever you can to just you just need to give what you can and there are a lot of benefits in giving first and foremost you become happier you feel happier i don't know i i know it's not just me because i've seen all of the books that i've read that are from that are written from people who are successful are people who are givers they give they give the knowledge that they have they give the time in writing the book they give to help other people they give themselves to help other people they're all givers and all of them said that the purpose in life is actually in giving Winston Churchill said that we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. So if we want to live a purposeful life and a happy life, a really happy life, then we should be able to give. Give, give, give. Okay? Second reason why you should give is because it allows you to build deeper connections. A lot of people are asking me, well, how do you build a network from nothing? And I've also asked this to one of my friends from TikTok. He's a real estate estate people, and uh, he's a serial entrepreneur, um, twenty year old, a millionaire, really good guy. And I asked him, "How do you build networks from scratch?" And he said the same thing. He essentially said, that "You just need to give to other people. You just need to give value to other people. When you see other people, when you connect with other people online, you." can you 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 are going to build you are going to build a meaningful connection and a better relationship with them if you just provide them value you don't ask what how they could help you you ask how you could help them okay and when you approach this kind of mindset and every person that you that you um, come across with when you think about what you can give to them you essentially they will essentially give it back to you in ways um, that you will not expect. I'm sure of that. It may not come from him directly, but there are a lot of times where I've done, uh, you know, I've, I've shown, I've given value to other people and they're not giving it back, but they are um, connecting me to other people that gives that back to me. And it's, it's a really, really amazing thing to see when you see it in front of your eyes that it's happening, that your connections will grow and grow and grow. If people, the word of mouth, if, if people, you know, share your name and share who you are, and if people know that you are a giver, then essentially they want to give back to you, okay? So you got to be able to give, give, give to build deeper relationships. So that's the second thing. The third thing is it's the most important ingredient in success. Like what get, what value do you give to other people? That That's the reason why the podcasts have been growing this much is because, well, I am giving. And I realized that before I started um, vlogging. And when you are vlogging, you're talking about your life. You're talking about yourself. And that's selfish. Okay. You, unless you're a celebrity, of course, you, then okay, you can go vlog. But if you are a normal human being and you want to be successful in anything that you are doing, then you need to be able to look at others on what they of uh, uh, and ask them what they need or think about what they need and provide them for that. Give value that can add up to what they need. Before I was I tried vlogging, blah blah blah. blah. I talked about I'm talking to myself and all that stuff. But I was just talking about myself. Nobody really connected to ki- that kind of stuff. So you need to provide something that can actually help other people's lives. And that's the same with business. Okay. If you are owning a burger joint, the fastest way to become the best burger joint in town is to provide value. Whether it's time, it's convenience, whether it's the the taste, regardless of what other really needs okay so you need to ask them or at least analyze what they need and provide it for them that's the only way that you can become successful okay steve jobs saw that there is a need for personal computers in every people every people's house everyone's houses so what he did is he gave the chance to people to have that he gave the chance to the world 
to be like that. Okay? He gave, he gave, he gave, he gave, and he gave. The next reason is that giving does make a difference. Giving can just can basically save someone's life. You know, when the podcast was just starting, I was giving, 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 and I was surprised that one person actually messaged me that I saved him from killing himself because he listened to the podcast. He was able to sleep at night because he, he listened to my podcast. And I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. And that's probably the best experience that I've ever had in life. That's the most fulfilling moment I've ever had. To, tell, to, to have someone tell me that I saved them. When in fact, I didn't even expect that I could save someone. But apparently, it does make a difference. Giving does make a difference. You don't know how hard it is for other people. So if you're just being kind and we're giving, whether it's a, a gift, whether it's you know, whether it's n- even not a gift, it's a smile, it's a compliment, it's a thank you. It can change someone's life for the better. To give, because it does make a difference. And so those are the reasons why you should learn to give. And I hope that I made a compelling point. You know, especially you know, uh, especially. It's near Christmas and it's the holiday season and I essentially want us to be in that spirit of giving because it really does help and cleanses our soul. And if this is like we only do this for a few months, I hope we could do this like every single month of the year. But maybe this could be the start that we are looking for to be that person, to be a giver instead of a taker, instead of a matcher. Maybe this is the chance that we could do that. So I want you to I want to leave you with a question for the rest of the week. It's how can I be a giver today? How can I help the people around me? Just ask yourself that question. And every decision you make, you base it on that. And come back to me after three weeks and tell me that you did not feel happier. So I could remove this episode. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, that's essentially what I want you to think about. Okay. How can I give today so that's all i have for you for this episode thank you so much for listening and before i actually end this if you are listening um on this episode on the 14th december 14th to the december uh, 19th i am um doing a fundraising event uh i'm trying i'm doing a small project called the paid forward project where i uh, i sponsor where I give Noche Buena packages to families who are having a harder time coping up with 2020. And I've, al- I've already raised a lot of funds with the help of my good friends um, in the whole world, you know, around the world. And they've been helping me do this project. They, they, they've been helping me with this project um, so much. And if you are looking for a way to share your blessings this holiday season that I'm asking you to please join me in this project. I am leaving this, um, the, 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 the ways on, on how you could donate. It's all over my social media feed. If you don't know that, then go follow me on at small talk podcast on Instagram. And if, um, I've, al- I've also posted the, the, the script. I have, I've also posted the links where you can donate below. You can sponsor a family by just, donating 350 pesos that can go a long way and it really does make a difference for the people who have it less and although 2020 has been very challenging and difficult i feel like some of us are still um, having it easier compared to other people and uh, if we are in that position then i think that we have the responsibility to help other people um, in in little ways in ways that we could and so if you are listening to this right now then i hope that you help me to make families here in Alangapu City uh, make their Christmas a little bit merrier. So yeah, thank you, so, thank you guys so much. I hope that you learned something, and yeah, always remember that you got this. Okay, okay. Talk to you guys next episode. Bye bye. This 
The views and opinions expressed by the podcast creators, hosts, and guests do not necessarily reflect the official policy and position of Podcast Network Asia. Any content provided by the people on the podcast are of their own opinion and are not intended to malign any religion, ethnic group, club, organization, company, individual, or anyone or anything.